Hey, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Dallas here at Common Sense Graphics. And today in this video, it's a video request from one of my viewers. He asked me, um, I've, I've actually had this request a couple times, and I've actually posted videos in the past, and I posted this um, in one of my most previous videos. But um, yeah, this video is going to be talking about how I do my line art and what are my weapons of choice as I do my line art. So pretty much, let's get right into it. It's a very simple uh, setup that I do. It's uh, if you're using Adobe Illustrator, you have to do this every single time you start up Illustrator. So do not fret; it's very fast and easy. But like I said, let's jump right into it. So if I'm going to be using the pressure sensitivity on my stylus, as you can see, it can just like you know become pressure sensitivity, you know, like all that other good stuff. Um, I can just do that simply by going up here into the top menu and clicking down it and clicking the touch calligraphy brush and that's what I always use for my sketching but we're trying to talk about light art here so let me get my brush strokes all set back up to normal okay so the first thing you got to do is open up your brush definition tab and then you want to click on new brush and this is what you're going to come up with right here click on calligraphy brush okay bring the menu back down and then you don't really got to mess up anything except for the bottom one so right here it says fixed make sure you click on pressure and then you can set it up I usually always set mine to for the size three and then for the variation three okay that's just something I always do and so when I start using my brush you can tell that it's just very fine and very clean and it's just very simple. So like if I wanted to draw on this character who I was drawing on earlier today, let's just uh, add some, uh, that's terrible, but yeah, <laughs> some, some variation and continue it. Let's see what I can do here. And as you see, it's very simple, very easy. This is one of my, this is this is one of the brushes I don't use very too, um, too I don't use too often. And this is the way how I usually draw people like if I'm gonna be drawing like a, a, a draw over over a person or a portrait this is the brush that I would typically use and it just really works very well for me and I have no issue with it but that's just one method and then like um, a lot of my anime videos on anime Monday I always use the exact same brush for anime just because it's it just works for me and I'm gonna talk about that so what I do is I use an ellipse but I just slender it way down and I will show you what I mean when I say I use an ellipse so I'm gonna take off snap to pixel because that messes me up so on your keyboard make sure you hit the L button okay that opens up your ellipse tool if you you know if you want to make a circle ellipse tool right okay so you don't want it like this where it's blank in the middle so what you want to do is hit shift X and that will change your color palette down here near the bottom left hand side of your toolbar and I'll make it filled right so we don't need this big black circle so let's just get rid of it and make another circle and this one usually you want to just stretch it out and as you can see I am stretching it out and making it as tiny as possible usually I'll use my mouse to make this because it's bleh so like that is too thin we don't need that so let's do this again so let's try ellipse tool let's make it let's lay this like this long right here it should be perfect there we go okay so this is what my stroke would look like if I were to draw anything this long this actually still might be a bit too big let's just go a little smaller just to make things better like right there that's perfect okay still too big actually I am cheating myself with that one okay one more time that's perfect okay so what you got to do now is select the ellipse that you just made the very small ellipse okay selected go back up here to your brush definition click on new brush this time click on art brush right right and Realistically, I never mess with any of these settings because I just don't care about it. It doesn't do anything. I mean, you can change the variation of how you want it to be, but for me, for instance, I don't, I don't change anything just because out of the box is perfectly fine. And you just click OK, and then you're ready to go. You can delete this one right here, and whenever you open up your brush tool, you can start drawing. So, for example, on my character, let's say I wanted to, like I said, do her face again. And as you see it's coming along very simply and this is what I use for anime characters and on this one there's no pressure sensitivity so if you want to use a mouse and a pen tool you can 
it works and uh, usually what I do if, like let's say the lines are just a bit too small I will just variably just change the stroke size a little bit and uh, like for example I'll change it right now so let's say it's on one right now so let's change it to two you know thicker let's say I want my character to be even better so it's three and so yeah just like that it works perfect and it's very fine point and it just works really well um, and these are pretty much the methods that I use when it comes to creating my character like any anime character you see me on my Annie Mondays this is what I do and it really does work out very well and I'm able to just bang things out real quickly and uh, you just cannot fret with it you just gotta have fun